Hey everybody, so recently I made this purse out of cotton and steel fabric that has sloths on it. But I haven't really told anyone why I made this bag and what it has to do with actress Kristen Bell. So this is a bit of a random story, but it does have to do with sewing. So I just wanted to talk about it because I haven't really shared it with anyone except James. So here goes. A few months ago, I had posted a really random picture on Instagram after I got home from work. It was of me wearing my Veronica Mars movie Kickstarter t-shirt. Now, to take you back a little bit, I was a pretty rabid Kristen Bell fan, like circa 2005. This is when, really, she hadn't been in any major movie. This was before forgetting Sarah Marshall or The Boss or her marrying Dak Shepard. It was when she was on a... CW slash UPN show that really not a lot of people watched because the show ended up getting canceled. So that was one of my favorite shows. I had gone a little crazy over her and the show at the time. I had purchased several copies of her DVDs and I would give them out as gifts. I would talk to people about the show at the grocery store, pretty much anywhere. It was almost like I was an evangelist, but for the TV show, Veronica Mars. Now keep in mind I was like 22 at the time. So that explains that explains a lot. So I had supported the Kickstarter when it first happened and I think it was about two two years ago and I had kept all my Veronica Mars movie stuff kind of in the plastic and I hadn't really done anything with it. So one I decided to bust out the t-shirt and I wore it to work underneath like a sweatshirt you know because obviously when I'm at the office, I don't really want to be wearing my Veronica Mars t-shirt. It's just not that casual of an environment. And, you know, but I, I, so I wore it underneath a sweater. And then when I got home that night, I took off the sweater and I took a picture. So I got a message probably about a few weeks later from some lady who said she was a casting producer for ABC. And apparently they were looking for people to be on this game show produced by Jimmy Kim Kimmel called big fan. So they told me the premise was that they were going to pick three super fans of celebrities and Kristen Bell was going to be one of them and that they would fly all of those fans out and they would compete against each other for knowledge of this celebrity. And then the winner at the end would actually go up against Kristen Bell to to kind of be quizzed on knowledge about her and if the fan won they got some sort of super fan experience which sounded kind of interesting, although, you know, again, it had been really years since I was that rabid of a fan, you know, so again, the show got canceled, and then, you know, life goes on, but, you know, I thought the show sounded cool, so, you know, they wanted to know all of the details about all of the memorabilia I had, and, you know, what I had done, and I, I again, I was, a, I am a, I, I still am a Rada Kamaras fan, but again, when the show was on, it was over a decade ago, so some time has, has passed. So the, the kind of the big things that I think the producers liked were that one, I had this Old Navy like corduroy little jacket blazer type thing, and she actually wore this on season three of the show. So I still have it, and I actually still wear it fairly often and this is probably at least 10 years old. So at the time I love, you know, I, I thought her fashion, I thought the fashion on the show was kind of up my alley. Like she wore a lot of American Eagle and I'm still really jonesing for this Abercrombie and Fitch faux fur vest she had in the episode where that guy joins the cult, uh, Casey. But I was not able to secure that even though I did look on eBay, the prices at the time were just a little too high for my budget. So the other thing that I had brought up during my audition process, and what happened was the first interview was like a phone interview, and then they Skyped. They had me Skype with like a casting director. And the whole process was kind of interesting. You know, I've worked on the news side, but I haven't really worked on the entertainment side. So I got to see a little bit about what the casting process is for reality TV shows in, you know, in Hollywood in the Los Angeles area. So the other thing that I mentioned was that I had purchased this cotton and steel sloth fabric and I love I'm a again I'm I love 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 animal prints or anything kind of quirky but as I was purchasing it I 
I knew that Kristen Bell has a sloth obsession. She had this viral video where she freaked out over a sloth coming to her birthday party. So sort of when I was buying it, I, I sort of did have her in mind, even though like I bought it way before this casting person contacted me. So I told the, the producer and the casting director that if I was picked for the show, I would make Kristen Bell a purse because I mentioned that I liked to sew. I told them I would make her a purse out of the sloth fabric if I was chosen. So after the aud audition and the Skype interview, I actually did start to make this, this purse in case I was chosen for the show. So this pattern is actually called the Swoon Harriet and it's part of uh, Swoon Patterns vintage collection and it's a convertible bag and it's got the zipper on it so you can convert it from a handbag to a tote. So I started making the bag just, you know, because I, you know, the taping date was about three weeks out. So I didn't know if I was going to be chosen for the show or not, so I wanted to make it anyways. So I did, and I do think it came out pretty awesome. I used this glitter vinyl mirror canvas stuff that I got from a place called Mikuru World Supplies. And I added this gold hardware. The bottom is a little wonky, but since then I've read some tips about using a stapler uh, to baste your bottom to the rest of the bag. So I'm going to try that out for next time whenever I make this bag. Probably after I finish a quilt, you know, there's always some project in the works. So I finished the bag and I didn't get chosen for the show, but that's totally okay because now I have this sloth purse that's really cute and very quirky, very my style. But originally I was actually making this for the actress Kristen Bell. So Kristen, if you're watching it, I am Sorry I took your bag, but if you like it, I would be happy to make you a second one or make you another item of your choice. Just reach out to me at sewingreportedgmail.com and get in touch because I would love to make something for you. I have loved your work. I loved your movies and your TV shows and everything you've ever done. And I'm just kind of obsessed. So not, not in an unhealthy way, just I love what you do. And I love your personality and I think you're awesome. So if you are watching this and you would like a sloth purse, I'd be happy to make you another one because this one's kind of used at this point. So just wanted to share that story with you. It's a little bit random and I actually didn't tell anyone about the that I was auditioning for just because I feel like you don't want to jinx it. You don't want to be like, yeah, I might go on this show and then you don't get picked and then everyone's like, oh, what happened to that? So I really only wanted, originally I only really wanted to tell anyone, you know, if I had actually gotten flown out to tape the show because then I would actually be on the show. But uh, I did make a very embarrassing audition tape and my husband James actually helped me and uh, I, we were a little over the top, I'm not gonna lie. So I don't think I'm going to share the audition tape, but I do want to share this awesome bag that I made for it. So that's my story and I'm sticking to it. So uh, keep on sewing and I'll talk to you next time. So, why am I wearing this again? Because I want the chance to meet Kristen Bell. All right. Hello, America. My name is James Moore, and I'm wearing this size small women's t-shirt so that my wife may have a chance at an opportunity to meet Kristen Bell. You're welcome. I'm getting out of this thing. <laughs> so on a scale of 1 to 10, how big of a Kristen Bell fan do you think I am? On a scale of 1 to 10, definitely going to have to illustrate this one to figure it out. I would say with 1 being who is she, you definitely know who she is. So you're at least a 1. 10 being who am I, maybe on some medication because uh, you might have had a couple of stents in a rubber room. I don't think you're quite there yet. I would say that you're just below crazy though. There's a couple of things that factor into this. We have multiple seasons of the same TV show, Veronica Mars. They only had three seasons, but we've had like seven to ten in our house at any given point in time. And now we only have two. We don't even have season one. She's lent it out so many times she doesn't remember who she lent them to because she wanted the show to come back. So we're going to put that there, Veronica Mars. That brings it up one notch. So that puts you at about a three. And for the record, that's where I am. I'm about a three. No offense, Kristen. You're great, 
but you don't blow it up. So that just doesn't work out for me. However, you also have two copies of Frost. Frozen. Whatever, Frozen Frost. This is a kid's movie. We don't even have children. We don't have children. If we did have children, it would be more of an issue because soccer moms have vans. One ski trip to Aspen, ski masks are handy. You have a bad day, boom, lock your doors, Kristen Bell. Just say no. So pay attention to Instagram, whatever the case may be. If she says, I'm pregnant, just move. Move out, Costa Rica is nice. All times of the year, it's a great place to go. The last thing that really puts you up towards this crazy line, verging on, hey, you might need some medication for this obsession, is I just wore a small t-shirt. Small, women's small t-shirt, for you to have a chance at an opportunity to meet Kristen Bell. I wish you all the best of luck. It'll be great if it happens, as long as you don't start buying more Kristen Bell memorabilia. That would just be a serious issue. So we're gonna leave it as more than a one and less than crazy, but maybe verging on a 10 as far as in need of possible medication to control this impulse.